Hey everybody, welcome back to Canine Active Health. Today we're gonna to learn a little bit about skin rolling for dogs and what some of the benefits are. So once again, I'm Adam, this is Bo, let's dive in. Now to better understand skin rolling, we must first need to know what fascia is. It's a connective tissue that envelops soft tissue in the body. So for context of this video on skin rolling, we will be referring to subcutaneous fascia, which is the layer that wraps around all the muscles, but it's just beneath the skin. So think of it like if you're peeling an orange and you take the skin off the orange, but there's still a little bit of that white layer around the orange, that would be the equivalent of the fascia underneath the skin in a dog. So fascia should normally be elastic and it should slide very smoothly. There's a little bit of contractile um, movement in the fascia as well, but sometimes it can become sticky and adhere to the underlying muscle. So this can sometimes cause discomfort or limited movement. So this is not to be overlooked. And this is where skin rolling comes in. So skin rolling is a simple technique. It's used to free up the fascia from the skin and the underlying tissue and help to promote better movement and comfort for your dog. It's so simple. It involves gently lifting up the skin and rolling it, the skin as you move down the spine. Now it's very similar to massage and it might look similar from the outside in, but if you'd like to see the difference, I recently did a video on the technique of massaging your dog at home and specifically how you can massage for trigger points and how to locate them on your dog. You can find that video right up here and then you can compare it to what we do in this video. So let's get into the actual technique. So what you wanna do with skin rolling is you wanna start up at the neck of your dog and then move down, always going in the direction that the fur moves. This is because you can easily get more skin folds up near the neck than you can in the low back. You're gonna gently pinch and lift the skin with your fingers, slowly roll the, fin uh, the skin between your fingers, move all the way down the body, doing this in sections. Now remember, if your dog seems uncomfortable or if there's any pain, ease up on the pressure and maybe avoid that area altogether. Work on them getting comfortable and then slowly come back to that area at another time. Regular skin rolling can improve your dog's flexibility, reduce stiffness, and even boost just their overall well-being. Plus, it's a great way for you to bond with them at home when your pet is in a relaxed state. So I hope this helps. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's so simple, and this will help your pup feel a lot better. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you all in the next video.